hello everyone welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problem minimize deviation in an array its index is 1675 and it is the hard problem of the lead code right so yeah so before moving on let's discuss the concepts that is being involved in this problem like uh, we are going to use a data structure called set or you can also use some heap sort of thing like if you had heard about binary heap uh yeah like heap like priority queue you can use uh, min heap or max heap it depends upon you how you implement the problem and uh, in c++ you can use a set data structure to solve this problem efficiently and the concept that is being involved is the greedy approach we are going to use okay so without wasting our time let's move on to understand the problem statement we will be given an array nums of n positive integers and we can perform the two types of operations on any element of the array. So if the element is even, divide it by 2. If the element is odd, multiply it by 2. That is, and we can do this operation any number of times on any element. And the deviation of the array is going to be defined by the maximum difference between any two elements in the array. Now you can easily understand that this maximum difference between any two elements is actually the maximum element of the array subtracted by the minimum element of the array is going to be the deviation of the array okay and we need to minimize that deviation print out the minimum deviation after performing some number of operations okay so we will understand the entire thing with the help of examples also so let's look over the constraints you can see maximum n is going to be around 10 raised to the power 5 and maximum value of the array is going to be 10 raised to the power 9 so we would be considering n log n type of solution uh, that would help us to uh, get a all correct verdict for this problem so let's understand this problem with the help of examples and uh, concepts okay so let's move so yeah so there are few of the things that you need to keep in your mind while solving this problem is like uh, let me write down so the very first thing is like uh, if the element is even, let's say array of i, if array of i is even, we are going to do the operation called array of i divide by 2. Okay, and the second thing is like if array of i is odd, if array of i is odd, we are going to do array of i into 2. Now, if you observe these two patterns, there is a very important thing that you are going to write down. So, let me write down idea 1. Idea 1. So, the very first idea is uh, an even element is never going to be increased. Because when you encounter an even element, you are always going to divide it by 2. So, it means that you are decreasing the value actually. So, an even element is never going to be increased. So, let me write down an even element. is never increased okay and let me write down the second idea and this very second idea is also quite useful uh, when we encounter an, an odd element an odd element uh, like uh, not saying like on add odd element like when we are working on an odd element we would uh, we would do at most one operation at most one operation okay so let's try to understand the second idea suppose we have an element called 5 so when the array element is odd we need to multiply it by 2 so element becomes 10 so when the array element becomes 10 you cannot multiply it by 2 again because if you will do that it will violate this condition okay so uh, when an array element is odd you will multiply it by 2 so it becomes even so you are not going to do you cannot be able to do any other operation so whenever uh, an element is odd you can do at most one operation and whenever the element is going to be even uh, this element cannot be having cannot have a greater value than the current value original value Okay, so we would use these two ideas to solve this problem efficiently. So, how we are going to do that? Let's try to understand. 
okay so so the very first thing that i am going to do is like let's say thought one so uh, it would be best if we convert all the array elements to even like let me write down i will also explain why we are going to do that convert all array elements to even okay so why we are going to convert all the array elements to even first because it will help us to uh, focus on only one condition that is uh, only this condition of when the array elements are going to be even so when all the odd elements are going to be converted to even by performing a single operation then entire array has uh, only even elements then we can focus upon uh, only uh, this condition and we can solve this problem efficiently but why to convert all the odd elements to even why not to all even elements to the odd ones okay i will leave this task to you guys that uh, if you are able to find out let me know in the comment section uh, otherwise we will uh, i will also tell you the reason behind that uh, let me tell you the reason is like uh, when you convert an even element to an odd element uh, you have to do several operations like array of i divide by equal to 2 and you are unaware that which step which new value is going to give you the minimum answer which is going to contribute to the minimum answer you are unaware about that so we are not going to do that but when array of i is odd we can convert it to an even element by using a single operation so when it is only a single operation you can just increment you can just use another single operation to that current even element and it becomes an odd and that is quite seems to be like like it seems to be a it can be doable so we can do that so let's move on to understand the next part okay so when all the elements are going to be even so we have the elements like a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 and let's say this is in the sorted form okay so we have this element so this will be a max element and this with the min element okay so we need to minimize the value of a5 minus a0 which is the max element minus min element so when the max element is going to be an even element you will always decrease a5 to a5 by 2 so when you decrease a5 to a5 by 2 you can see this element is going to be discarded and this a5 by 2 is going to be inserted back into this array so your new array would become a0 a1 and let's say a5 by 2 will occupy this position then a2 a3 followed by a4 now this is your actual new element okay so your new array so and this is again in a sorted form now what you are going to do is again you can see this a4 is going to be an even element so you can still decrease it okay so you can decrease a4 to a4 by 2 okay so this will again occupy some position and you are going to stop it only and only when the max element max element is an odd element then you are done you are not going to perform any operations and all the minimum values that you are going to go uh, get in the path while achieving this criteria then your answer will be minimum of all those values okay so why you are stopping at this position stop when you will get this when you get this Okay, why we are going to stop it at this position? Let's understand that. Let's say we have the element 2, 4, 6 and we have got this 7. Okay, so uh, we are going to stop at this position because this is an odd element, right? And the current difference is you can see 7 minus 2, which is actually 5. So this is an odd element. So you can uh, increase it uh, by exactly 7, that is 7 into 2. So your new uh, position would be like 2, 4, 6, 14 and you can see the current difference is 12 which is actually greater than this 5. So we are not, we, we, so we are not able to do this one. Okay, so let's try to write down uh, one more thing that if you cannot decrease the value of 5 by operating on this one. So let's operate on the minimum position, minimum value. So you can decrease 2 to 2 by 2 which is 1. So the new array would become 1, 4, 6, 7. You can see by doing this one you are actually increasing the minimum deviation so this is also not possible so when we will encounter the max element as odd 
you will stop your iteration and all the minimum values that you get in the path to achieve this criteria then you will take all those minimums find out the minimum value of that all those minimum uh, all those deviations that you can that you have got then you will print your answer as the minimum value now the thing is like how would you manage the sorted form of this array so you would use a set when you will extract the maximum element from the set and divide it by 2 you will insert it back it will perform every operation in logarithmic time insertion and deletion everything okay so that's what uh, that is what we are going to use so let's understand this entire thing in the coding part okay so let me open up this one yeah so i will always also explain the complexity of this entire solution so first let's understand what uh, we are going to do so whenever we are having the odd element this for loop will increment like this for loop will multiply the value by 2 and now we need to put all the elements into a set and perform the operations efficiently so our current minimum answer would be the max element note that set is in the like a decreasing form like it will store the values like max uh, maximum second maximum and so on you can see set int greater int where we have used the comparator so maximum element minus the minimum element so this will be the current deviation and this can be our answer minimum answer but we need to explore all the possible cases so we will extract out the last you can see extract out the maximum element and if it is an even element you can say yes we can divide it by 2 okay so when we will extract that value and erase its entry from the set and we will divide it by 2 and insert back into the set okay and again when you will insert back into the set you can see that we have again a sorted form array then this array also have some deviation then you, you are going to minimize your answer by that deviation value okay and the current deviation is again this term now uh, let's talk about the complexity of the solution so the complexity of this solution is going to be n log n and m where m is the max value of this array okay so how this came is like uh, yes uh, uh, yeah how can i say that okay so this loop uh, let's say all the elements have distinct value okay and every element is going to be even now this will extract out all the elements one by one in the worst case so this n factor will come up and log n factor will come up because you can see we are going to insert back into this set okay and when we will insert back into the set it will take a logarithmic time of the max size of this set which is log n and log m factor will come because if any element like the max element can be reduced uh, to the one to the value one until it gets odd like uh, by up to a log of m times it will be the maximum in the worst case in general we can write so the complexity would be n log n log m and space complexity would be o of n okay so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and uh, thank you for watching this video